According to the statistical interpretation of a wave function, psi star psi is a probability density. Integrating this intensity, which is always positive and zero, over a spatial region between A and B, gives the probability of finding the particle in this region. Now, if we look over all the range, over the entire space, the probability of finding the particle must be 100%. The particle got to be somewhere. So, mathematically, the integral over all space from minus infinity to plus infinity of psi star of x psi x dx has to be equal to 100%, which is 1. Mathematically, this equation states that the wave function must be normalized. This is a simple conclusion that follows directly from the statistical interpretation of the wave function. Only wave functions for which this integral exists can be physically meaningful wave functions. Other functions for which this integral is zero or infinity are not meaningful even though they might satisfy the Schrodinger equation. Let's look at an example. Take the wave function psi of x that's equal to n times sine of n pi x over a in the region between 0 and a for x and wave function is 0 everywhere else. The constant n is called the normalization constant. and it must be chosen such that the wave function is normalized. Formally, let's write down the normalization integral. It goes from negative infinity to plus infinity of n star sine n pi x over a times n times sine n pi x over a dx. This is equal to n star times n. Now we can restrict the integral to the non-zero region of the wave function, so between 0 and a, of sine square n pi x over a dx. This must be equal to 1. Next we get n star n, which is also equal to the norm or magnitude of n squared, equals to 1 over the integral. As you can see, the normalization constant n can only be determined if the integral gives a result that's neither zero nor infinity. Evaluating the integral, we get norm of n squared equals 2 over a. Now, what's n? In principle, n is a complex number, but this equation here only tells us about its magnitude, or modulus, not about its phase. It turns out that we are completely free to choose the phase of n. Conventionally, the normalization constant is chosen to be real and positive. So we get n equals square root of 2 over a. In summary, the following three points are important. First, a function must be a solution of the Schrodinger equation and it must be normalized. in order to be a physical wave function. Second, in order to be normalized, the wave function has to be square integrable. That is, the normalization integral must, be, uh, must exist. Third, the normalization constant n, and therefore the wave function, can have any phase, but conventionally, n is chosen to be real and positive.